On today's Motorhead Garage, we'll show you a one-stop shop for your Restomod truck build, the easiest way to go topless in your Jeep, and revolutionary ways to keep your vehicle on the road longer. Plus, an affordable laser that can make you look like a pro. Roll out the barrel, because the gang's all here. This is Motorhead Garage presented by Top Coat, the series where we show off all kinds of great aftermarket gear for your vehicle. And what a vehicle we have here in the studio today. It's a classic Chevrolet C10. And if you're doing any kind of resto mod or classic build, your one-stop shop is gonna be Van Natta Fabrication. Now, we could go through your website, Jason, but most of the stuff you have is on this truck. Tell me what you have on the front end. The front end, we got that BNCO mesh grill insert. We've got the Mod Shop Metalworks roll pan that they modified just for us with the uh, LED tail lights, center duct, and then we got the front spoiler there on the bottom of the roll pan. That's a great looking vehicle. What inspired you to, to put that spoiler down on the bottom? The race car look. I really want to just blend a race car with a truck and get that go fast look out of the build. It's a familiar look from the late 60s. It, it kind of resembles another famous Chevrolet. Yeah, it's actually modeled off a 67 Camaro spoiler. Gotcha, that's why it looks great. Now let's talk about what you've done under the hood now. You've not just for looks on the outside, but we pop the hood and it's a great looking truck underneath. And tell me what, uh, what kind of parts you've made here. These are our under hood panels. These are typically aluminum just to keep the weight off the hood so you don't have all that weight on the gas struts. These are our inner fenders, two piece. This is our core support filler panels and our radiator cover. And you can see here, I've welded it all together and welded it to the hood latch. And that's something that's easy to do because we see the parts raw and that's what they look like when you get them. How easy are those to actually put on the car? These just drop in place and this just basically drops in place too. Once you bolt it all together, this seems pretty tight. Just do a little bit of fitment and you can start tacking this together, then just take it off to finish it out. A lot of our customers leave them separate. A lot of our customers that maybe have a shop building their truck, they'll have them mold all this together. And then we have our five-piece firewall kit back there. It's bead rolled to match the inner fenders. And we have our coil pack covers. So what parts do you sell for the motor? I'm a dealer for several different companies that we get accessories from. These are the Concept One accessories here in Polish. They also have them in anodized black. I'm a dealer for Texas Speed. We've got the Texas Speed race heads. They provide the fast intake, the bigger cam. We use Texas Speed engine parts in all of our builds. One thing's kind of wild under there, the master cylinder. Tell me about the brake system. That's the Willwood uh, dual reservoir master cylinder, and I swapped out the reservoirs for their billet aluminum units. Then we run their big brake kit on all of our builds. Excellent, the wheels look great, what are those? Those are the Forge Lines. I'm a dealer for several wheel companies, but the Forge Lines are just the perfect wheel for the look of this truck. And here's a nice touch I really like, the logo that you put on the side. Tell me about that. BNCO, they made the mesh grill for this truck. They also made my emblems. Those are billet aluminum. Excellent. And you told me this is a pretty popular item, the mirrors on these. Yeah, we've sold quite a few sets of these. These are 2015 to 2019 Mustang mirrors. We can get them with uh, turn signals or without. And they're cut down and modified to bolt right onto your C10. Now they look great and the interior it will really blow you away when you take a look inside this truck. We've got the TMI seats, door panels, headliner. I uh, handmade the dash to fit in the Dakota Digital gauges because the ones I'm using are universal gauge. And now the seats. Seats are incredible. Tell me what you've got there. The TMI seats and a gunmetal in red. They're great looking. How are they to sit in? Very comfortable. And the steering wheel? Billet Specialties. So what else have you guys provided for the interior? We've got our kick panels, our dash overlays, our doubled-in panel, the center console, and glove box overlay are all parts that we make. And when you're doing a resto mod, you want to put the modern conveniences in, hence the backup camera in the center. Yes, this truck actually has a front camera and back camera to assist with parking. Save your investment. For sure. Another thing that jumps out to me is the glass. I don't see any rubber seals. I don't see any chrome. What have you done? This is the Fessler flesh mount glass. It eliminates all that. The glass is oversized. It gives you that modern look of what you'd have on a newer vehicle. We use it on our classic builds and our resto mods and our pro turning trucks. And if you're going to lower a truck, you're going to need the monster notches, but you need a way to hide that. You need to bring the bed up higher. So what have you done to make that easier? Yeah, we typically raise the bed floor about eight inches to get over any notch or aftermarket chassis. Once we raise the bed floor up, we put in a square tubing structure. Then we start building all these 
sheet metal panels. We bead roll them for looks. Now, if you're doing this at home, putting in a new bed, you're going to need a plasma cutter, some shears, and it's going to take you forever to put the new bed in. But you guys are making that easier going down the road. Yes, we're hoping to have within the next year an entire bed kit out pretty similar to this. There'll be some options to it for the customer to choose from. Excellent. How long will that take to install then once I get it? We basically turn them into a kit in the shop for ourselves and I install that in less than a day. Oh, wow. Making it easy to make your resto mod or your classic truck build look fantastic. Everything you need is at VanettaFabrication.com. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by Topco. See you in a minute. Okay, Motorhead Garage fans, it's time to test your automotive IQ. Frenchman Nicholas Joseph Cugnot invented the first steam-powered road vehicle, a tractor for the French Army. In what year did Cugnot's machine first hit the road? Was it 1805, 1650, 1899, or 1769? Believe it or not, over 250 years ago in 1769. More Motorhead Garage presented by Topco right after this. 